Good fucking Monday morning, motherfuckers, motherfuckettes, and Eagles fans. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Where do we even start? Where do we even start? All right. This this is gonna be. This might be a bit of a long video, guys. Now. Um, all right. All right. All right. All right. I'm just gonna start with my bold prediction. I got one of them completely right. I said Wentz was going to pass for 300 yards in his first game. And he did 307. And I was almost right on Ertz. I said eight receptions for 110 yards and a touchdown. He was eight for 93. Close. Close, but no cigar. And then I said Darby was going to get a pick. But it was Mills. But I'll take that. And then I think I said five sacks. But we had four. But I'll take that. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit was bananas. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, the first fucking drive? This motherfucker is a magician. Like... Y'all don't realize the type of quarterback we have now. I mean, holy fucking shit. Did you see the stuff he was doing? And evading and running around and then he could just you just going to throw that ball up there though. You just going to throw it up there off the back foot and Aguilar is just going to catch it and run to the end zone. That's how we going to start the fucking game. Wow. I was jumping out of my seat. I was, it was crazy, but, um, let's get the bad shit out, Ronald Darby, bruh, I hope you can come back this year, um, dislocated ankle, that shit looked nasty, uh, it was just stiff, and it was, it was bad, it was just, it was completely bad, but, um, I'm hoping he can come back in, like, six, eight weeks, um, hope we can get Jones back fully healthy, and, um, you know, I, I wouldn't mind, I, I, I don't know how I really feel. I'm like on the fence, but I'm still thinking we might have to get Kyle Fuller, uh, from the bears. So, um, with that being said, hell of a fucking win, fellas. Secondary, you stepped up, man. Last year, we would have lost that game with Nolan Carroll and Leotis McKelvin. We would have fucking lost that game. And, um, it was, it was good. Like, it was good to see us put together a finishing effort. That D-line? Bruh, they are feasting this year. Did you see Graham? Two sacks already. You know what I'm saying? Like, the stats are, are already going to be there this year. Because you got Jernigan slamming Cousins through the middle of the line. You got Cox slamming Cousins. Curry, he been on his fuck. He been on the ground a little bit, but he getting some pressure. He'll get there, but um, it was just Chris Long. You gotta have that sack, bro. Like he, I think he just like moved his arm up. He didn't even move his old body up in the pocket. You can't miss that sack. But other than that, holy shit, that D line, that front seven, the linebackers. We got we had some missed tackles. But, you know, it's the first game. Haven't really been tackling as often. Uh, all the starters wasn't playing in preseason. So, first game, tackling was, was not very, very efficient at times. Um, our cornerback should not be having nine solo tackles. Um, I'm glad that Jalen Mills can tackle, but it's not very uh, efficient when he's got nine tackles. That's that's not what we need to see. Um but damn, Carson Wentz is money. He's money. And he and Alshon, they're going to get it together. It's only the first game. Um, they had a few connections. Alshon has some dropsies. Uh, shit, Carson missed Tory on that wide. I mean, if he put some touch on that ball, that long ball, to Tory in the beginning of the game against Josh Norman, that would have been a touchdown. Because... He, he just didn't put enough air on the long ball today. But they also said it was kind of windy. So, maybe that could have affected it. But, could have affected it. Um, 
but uh, but the fucking the run game that's got to be better um that's just that's just got to be better first game back they trying to get through the rotation see who's hot um i want to see smallwood do a little more uh he had a a couple of short games but i want to see some outside runs with him and um it seems like on the plays that there's like a big hole we got Legarrette blunt in and he's too sn- slow to get to the hole so it's only like a five yard game so we got some things to work out but um great win against a divisional foe on the road first game of the season and you lose your number one quarter cornerback great win offensive line wasn't even playing well but we still won that is the difference between good bad and average teams last year we were an average team because we couldn't close out the fucking close games we did it this time on the road against the redskins who we haven't beaten oh my god it was five games since we beat them what the fuck so that was a great divisional game um I'm excited for the next week's game. We got the Chiefs. We're going to the Arrowhead Stadium uh, to see Andy. It's time for a 2013 rematch. Ain't no Vic. Uh, ain't no fumble rooskies from Vic. We got, well, I wouldn't say better wide receivers because d and Macklin weren't like slackers. But we got good wide receivers. Our defense is better. Our offense is better. And it's going to be a good fucking game. Mentor against protege. And uh, I think Dougie P can pull this one through. Because Alex Smith is going to be under fucking pressure. He ain't going to be throwing no 300 yards and four touchdowns against us. Boy, they get some good ones in. Yeah, because you got Tariq Hill if he's healthy. I mean, Chris Conley, he all right, but he's fast. Then you got Travis Kelsey and Kareem Hunt. But, I mean, that D-line? It's going to be a lot different, Smith, because the Patriots don't have no fucking pass rushers like we do. So you ain't going to have all that time, bruh. So you better get your fucking legs ready because you're going to be running. <laughs> you're going to be running. So, uh, uh, side note, side note, fucking Giants and Cowboys, y'all are trash. That game was trash. Like, y'all fucking trash. Giants, y'all suck. Suck without OBJ. Y'all suck. Like, holy fuck, where's your offense? He is your offense. Where was Brandon Marshall? I thought he was the key to lift y'all into fucking eliteness again. And y'all going straight to the playoffs. Where was that? Y'all are shit without Odell. And if Odell's doing bad, the rest of your offense gonna look like that too? That was a horrible effort. I couldn't, like... And then y'all gonna... I heard... I saw some shit that said the Cowboys are the class of the NFC East. Bitch, where? Where? Are you kidding me? Oh, my... And fucking Eli. I love seeing Eli face, though. I love that. Uh, I love when anybody in the NFC East loses. But I like when the Cowboys lose better. But that's okay. Because... Eagles are a different team this year. I don't care what the fuck y'all say. Um, we're already starting off things differently. We're already doing things differently. Um, and soon the rest of the NFL is going to see. But that D-line, y'all need to be afraid. You need to be very afraid. I don't give a fuck if you got fucking three, four, five, six, seven, eight pro bowlers on the offensive line. Cowgirls. Y'all see what happened last year. We gave y'all that, that first game. I'm not even going to lie. So... We closed the game out. We got it done no matter what. We did it. Sure, we had a, a fucking questionable call given to us. But in, in reality, how many calls weren't given to us in the same fucking game that we should have had? How many calls did the rest fucking blow? Like, Kirk Cousins didn't get no intentional grounding. I'm number 21 in the fucking area. There was nobody in that fucking area. But I digress. We won the fucking game 30-17, to 17, and it's on to the Chiefs. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking ready. And don't we play... Who would play week three? 
I gotta, I gotta look at my schedule. Is it the Bears? I don't know. But I know I can't wait for that fucking Giants game. I know I can't wait for that. So, um, enjoy this win, Bird Gang. Because it's going to be a tough game against the Chiefs. You know it's always going to be tough against Andy. Um, I ain't trying to get blown out like we did at home. Nah, it's time to fucking take over. You know what I'm saying? Eagles fans, y'all traveling. Represent. Hold the fort. You know what I'm saying? And um, fuck the Cowboys and fuck the Giants. And dead skins in the water, bitches. Bird gang out.